Right, let's try and get stood up, shall we? You managed last time. Yeah, I did. Right. <clears throat> see what lovely people we have in here. Nobody at the moment. They can come and see how disastrous our slime making is going. This is the how not to make slime. Hi, Bun Buns. Have you ever made slime? Chrissy, have you ever made slime? Because we've decided people lie about it, don't we? Mm. This is Chloe. Chloe, is, Chloe and I have decided that everyone's a liar because we followed the instructions and look where we got to. We have various bowls of gloop in various stages of gloopiness. We have this one as well. Nothing's happening. So this is the how not to make slime. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've tried washing up liquid, which now I'm thinking maybe it should have been Bio maybe, lens solution as the activator, we're trying to make fluffy, PVA glue, baking powder, we even put flour in one of them to try and thicken it up thinking it would make a difference. Which is this one. Which looks like porridge. But I have to say every time she made it, it stick to clothes and hair. We haven't even got that far yet. I mean, this is the nearest one, isn't it? Is it not? The nearest one to being anything slime like mm. but it, it's it's more shaving foam than it it's is literally slime. shaving foam yeah most of that is shaving foam the activator did nothing it activated nothing this is lens solution isn't it people this is i mean i don't have contact lenses it has four contacts so maybe this is not the right thing maybe I don't know. So we're having a cup of tea while the kids sleep. We just put them down for their naps. And we're going to just continue to play with various amounts of slime. Slop. Where? Slop. It's not even slime. It's not slime. No, slime is certainly not what it is. Right, let's try a bit of. Okay. What's that one? I'm going to go with this one. I don't actually think. Well, yeah, I mean, it says it's sterile saline, and I thought that's what lens solution was, but maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe the activator is not activating because it's not the right thing. I don't know. But it is literally. But it's certainly not slime. This one was following the recipe completely. And then guess what? It fails. Right, I'm going to pour a little bit of that in there. So I'm working with a tiny bit now. Tiny bit. Glue. Maybe I need more glue. Right. This off to a sec because I don't think it's going to improve. It's not going to improve. And we'll try with this one. Add a bit more of this in. Do it in smaller bowls. Yeah. yeah. So we're working on what we've got, but in smaller bowls to see if we can get anything to do anything. Washing liquid. Just seems to make it runnier. That doesn't seem to do anything useful at all. No. The only thing that seems to thicken it at all is the shaving foam. Salon solution just... I don't... Maybe this is the wrong thing. Looks like milk. Well, <laughs> a contact lens solution. It might be. Yes, that yes, should, that be, should contact. be. Yeah, contact for all types of contact lenses. It says it should be. What have we done wrong here? For dissolving off... I don't know. I don't know what we're doing so very wrong. But it's certainly not slime. This is not, this is not going well at all. There's been a bit of a Can fail. Even if it is saving. Um, put some more of that in there. <laughs> 
I love that sound. Do something. This is like the sixth batch, I think. Try adding all the ingredients. Eyes. Somebody else actually, we did watch a video and somebody else said it's not always as easy as it's made to look on the internet. It's not easy at all. Um, looks like our bottles here in the US. See it starts to thicken, but then it never actually goes into slime. It just goes running. And then it starts to lose its structural integrity a bit. And then it just turns into See, this looks like it gets promising, and you think if I keep stirring it, it will do something, and then it doesn't. Kev, hello, hello. Chloe and I are trying to make slime, and we are failing dismally. Have you ever made slime with your grandkids? No, I don't wear contact lenses either, so it's no use to me whatsoever. They lie. This is not how you make slime at all. They just lie to you. I've seen kids make it. I mean, kids. little kids. If kids can make it. Why can't I make it? Then you're an adult. In the looser sense of the word. You need an electric whisk. I don't have one of those. We do. It broke. My bowl is getting too small, it's expanding out of my bowl. See look, it's going sloppy now, whereas before it was quite thick. Now it's going sloppy. Please help me. Calls for borax. Yeah, you see, well I was told that the washing liquid is the borax um, alternative, rather than actually using borax. Is why, but maybe that maybe it should have been bio instead of non bio. Maybe. Well, it stands up like marshmallow. We have a lot of bowls of white, flowy stuff. Glop, gloop. It's all the whisking, okay. Egg white stuff. No, I wouldn't eat it. What egg whites? I think it talks talk about meringue. Oh. But no, we didn't like say it looks meringue. meringue. Look, if you mix it and then it stands up on then like that. Meringue. Does stand up. Just don't heat it. I'm gonna pour that. Oh, that's got a completely different colour. Why is that a different colour? Maybe it's because of the bottom of the jug. Oh, maybe it's cleaning the jug out. Lee insists on cooking beans and stuff in this, so uh, it goes orange. I don't like cooking stuff in plastic. So he heats up beans in it. I use a glass bowl. That's why it's the colour it is. But they should not to expand. Even if you put a little bit in it, it'll still go meringue. Uh, meringue, yeah, meringue, that's the one. Mm. We did use some baking soda. We chopped baking soda in it as well. But we didn't have, um, we didn't shaving cream. No, I've done so shaving cream to the bit that was in here. Oh. Ah, yeah. Oh, it's got the See, now that's sloppier than it was before. Oh, look, see, look how it's going. Ew. Ew. So I think the nearest one we've got is that one, isn't it? Or that one. But it's still not, you can, it's nice and shiny. That's it. You can't actually slimeify it, can you? Nope. Can you colour that slime? <laughs> if it was slime, we could, yeah. It's not slime, so. But look, really. I mean, you know, it's not, you couldn't mould it, could you? It's mm. supposed, you know, <laughs> it's not really mouldable. At all. No. We have a lot of bowls of disastrous gloop. 
Feels quite nice. Smells nice. Does it feel nice? The recipe fluffy slime mum calls precise measurements. Yeah, we did precise measurements over there. Now we're just playing with the leftovers because we've given up. We had like the measuring thing and we were measuring out precise measurements. Yeah, it does feel quite nice. It does feel nice. I've now got an itch. <laughs> Elizabeth, glue, slime, cornflower. We were doing glue slime, but nothing worked. The activator didn't seem to activate anything. Yeah, it's got shaving foam in it, so we were trying then to make fluffy slime. The shaving foam has been the thing that has made it more slime-like. But it's still not slime. It's, no, because slime shouldn't be like that. I mean, you could call it slimy, I guess. It's just not slime that you can play with without getting it all over your hands. Yeah. The kids gave up and left. They decided that it was boring because it wasn't working. <clears throat> you see, this is why I should check things out before I do it with the kids. But it was like a spur of the moment thing. We went to Wickham to get all the things as we well. We did. We went into town, went and got all the stuff. And it didn't work. <laughs> this probably will moisturise your hands though. So I think that might be a bonus. Itches now. So I have no idea. No idea at all what's happened or not happened. Can't even I can't even touch my phone now to look at the chat. Are they gonna pop up? Never knew there were so many different ways to make slime. Yeah. yeah. The activator you mixed up. We used sterile saline, which I thought was that contact lens solution. Okay, I'm going to maybe to maybe that was it. Because it didn't, it, we got sterile saline for contact lenses, thinking that's contact lens solution, maybe it's not, maybe that's why nothing's happening, because we got the wrong activator. Yes, that is contact lens solution, yeah, you see, that's what I thought. thought you had to fridge it for a while, not on the recipe. No, it literally, the, we've got a whole book of slime making and none of them were working for us. It says... That you mix it and mix it and mix it and then eventually it'll kind of go dough like and then you have to take it out and stretch it. And it should turn into slime. Turns into slime. It's not happening. Absolutely. This is very therapeutic though. But I'm not your girl if you want slime. I'm clearly not the girl to go to to make slime. I've got to probably be the only child minder in the country that can't make slime. Probably. No worries, I can't make it either. It's kind of a job requirement, is it not, for me? I can make oobleck. Oobleck, yes, I like playing with that. Although it goes That's nice and easy. a couple of days yeah. if you don't store it correctly. As long as you're having fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello, Morgan, how are you? We are not making slime. <laughs> it's not worked. We have various bowls, various states of gloop. Literally. Sorry. Yeah, various bowls, various stages of gloop. I mean, this is very nice. It's feel nice. And I might keep it for them to play with, but yeah. It's not slime. Or as they said it would be. But after school kids can play with this, maybe. Ew. Should we give it one more go? How much? No, we haven't really got enough glue. Have we got enough glue? Mm hmm With precise measurements. How's my day been? Yeah, my day's been good. <clears throat> Not bad at all. Not bad. Look at that. If anything, though, it's cleaning all the orange off of my very stained plastic jug. Ooh. Call me Whip, not Pip. Yeah. Oh, whip it up. Where's the post I've got it, you know. Right, so, and this is another one, but this is just very runny. This really didn't do anything. Would this be classed as ASMR, do you think? It doesn't really make an ASMR sound. It doesn't. It's sensory play, if nothing else. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's been a bit like George's Marvellous Medicine here. See, yeah, I think I need to get some cornflour because... Mm. 
that would have helped thicken it. We did put flour in one of the bowls. This one. Yeah, that one's got that one's got flour in it because we didn't have any corn flour. One cup of corn flour, one cup of water. That's that's oblique. The oblique. corn flour. Oblique. 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 Is the corn flour and water. That's good fun. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting quite therapeutic. It's quite nice. Feels nice. It's nice and cold and sloppy. Don't mix the corn flour with the glue. Okay. Oh, we use corn flour. No, we didn't have any. We just mix the flour and glue. That flour and glue? I don't know. Don't mix the corn flour with the glue. That won't work. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to satisfying to play with. It is. It's very satisfying. I'm refusing to put my hands in there. I don't think it will. Don't think you'd like that? No. <laughs> I don't want the fluffy one, but that one, no. Yeah, it's quite nice. Feels quite nice. Don't like getting messy either. <laughs> I like messy clay. And they spelled my name right. They did spell your name right. A lot of people don't spell your name right. True. You can mix flour and boiling water if you want, like flat, like finger paint. Oh, yes, you really? can, and and um, you can do flour and yogurt. That's like baby with food coloring, and that's baby um, baby finger plate paint because it doesn't matter if they eat it. That's good fun. Edible finger paint. <laughs> Would you want to eat it though? It's just flour. The flour does babies eat everything. True. Finny decided to eat a marker. Finny decided to eat a what? Oh, a marker. Oh, he did try to make a marker pen last week. It is PVA, yes. Yeah, PVA glue. Right. I'm just going to take some of this over here. Well, oh, sorry, Chloe, I'm dripping it all over you. It doesn't I'm sure it's wonderful. It's, it will make you very clean, <laughs> and nothing else. Feels nice, very sloppy and slimy and I'll have the cleanest hands on the planet. So you can get the glue without it drying. See I used to like the feel of glue on my hands and letting it dry. Then it, my sister would do that and then she'd peel it off. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I'll drink my tea and talk to you a lot. Tea. Tup tup tup. As would I. Yeah. Yeah, put glue in it, put PVA glue in it. Ah, uh, she had a friend with the name Chloe. Tea, yeah. Having my tea. So tea. this, yeah, let's see, this is washable, oh, it's washable glue. Maybe that was the problem. Maybe it wasn't, it says strong washable PVA glue. So if it's PVA strong, glue, this. saline solution, mm -hmm. we had bicarb, no, baking powder. The gel for the, because we tried the PVA and laundry gel, but I'm thinking that should have been. We're not sliming anyone, Chris, <laughs> because the slime is not working. We have various stages of non sliminess. The loop. Look, I'm trying to show you how many bowls of this stuff we've got. Look. One, two, three, four. Six. Five. We and got this. Five. Oh, six. We got six pots and jugs of glue. Oops. No, I didn't have borax crystals because I was told on a YouTube video <laughs> that instead of using borax, you use the laundry gel. You guys have been busy. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, we have. I'm going to eat a piece of fruit while I chat with you. It's easier than you thought to make gloop. Not to make slime though. Yeah, we, we can make gloop. Mm. We're pros at making gloop. Maybe I just need to get some borax and be done with it. Mm. And what if that doesn't work? Then I'll be making more gloop. Hmm. 
<clears throat> yeah. So this is a this is a tutorial in what not to do. <laughs> yeah, see that's what I thought. But they do say you don't have to use borax. You can use the contact lens solution as the activator. Look. We have a whole book here of slime recipes. Right, Karina Garcia. This is the not what not to do. <laughs> and her basic recipe for slime is 120 ml PVA glue, food colouring optional, 60 ml of liquid starch or laundry starch, we didn't have starch, a small to medium sized mixing bowl and mixing utensils. So she used starch, but there's another one in here that she uses. Um, contact lens solution. Where's that one? So she used half a teaspoon of baking soda, 60 ml of water, 105 ml of clear PVA glue, and four to five teaspoons of contact lens solution. So PVA glue, contact lens solution, and baking soda and some water should have done it. It failed. It failed. Washing liquid, PVA, and contact lens solution, which I've seen someone do, failed. Um, shaving won't work. It didn't work. The shaving foam was the nearest, but it didn't work. What are we going to do with all that glue? No I, think idea. I think I'm going to let the kids play with it when they get home from school. Um, saline won't work. Is that different then to contact lens solution? Hi George, you come into a what not to do live stream. Um, yeah, baking powder. Put some of that in it, didn't work. So I definitely need borax rather than any kind of other type of thingy. Sounds like it. Mm. They lied. You did, Bunny, they lied. Well, you see, I always thought contact lens, lens solution was that stuff. Mm. Yeah, you see, I don't understand. I think I just need to get borax. That's what most people are saying. Mm -hmm. And like from all the slime videos I watched, I've added borax. It's yeah. never been contact solution. I have seen them pour it in and it go together, and I've gone, wow, that's magic. I kind of think it has done that, but they've been mixing for several hours. Mm -hmm. um, and then Do you think we just edited... not mix long enough? I have no idea, but I don't think this is going to turn into slime anytime soon. Right, let's see what's wrong. You hold the floor. I can hear a small person. Oh dear. Yeah, I think we still need four. I've already started all the covers. Oh. Little ones are meant to be sleeping, but it was a fight over a duvet. You need to tangle the PVA molecules. Sounds like talking to my boy. He sciences things too. Baby's crying. No, it was a. It was Beth getting cross with Aurora. They're meant to be sleeping. But Aurora stole the but Aurora duvet. Aurora stole the duvet. They top and tail on the sofa. Mm. Well. Yeah, this is a not, what not to do. How is everyone anyway? What are you all up to today? Hello, Brett. This is Chloe. Chloe, this is Brett. No, I won't be on for very long, but 
I won't be going just yet. We we're trying to make slime bread. It's not worked. It was a disaster. Quite literally. Mm hmm. Have you got rain as well, Chris? It's horrific. Not really that much now. Is it not? It's no. So it's sort of drizzling rather than it's stopped. Oh, yeah. That was pretty grotty, wasn't it, when we were driving in town earlier? It was grotty. Do you know what? I should never eat grapes and then drink tea. It tastes wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said that before. I have. But you did it with like something else. No, it's always grapes. Yeah. Fruit in general, actually, with a cup of tea doesn't taste good. It's pretty grotty. Brett, is your roof okay? You're not getting any leaks in your new roof. Well, not your new roof, but your new abode. I've got hiccups now. We also live in a house, so... You live in a house? A hill. Oh, a hill. I thought you said a house. I was going to say... Why would we not live in a house? Some people don't. <laughs> no, live on a hill. Yes. So don't need to... Ooh. Yeah, so it Whatever. runs down the hill. We don't need to worry about flooding. If other, if we get flooded, that means that a lot of places are flooded. Yeah. Chris lives on a hill. Leaks and Van Broken... Oh, Brett, no, that's uh, rubbish. Yeah. I did see that you've got a thing come up, but guess what? There's a light come up on my dashboard. And I have a horrible feeling it's going to be expensive. I got Chloe to read the manual while I was driving. It sounds expensive, doesn't it, Chloe? Yeah, it's the electronic something or other. Tra something to do with the transmission. Yeah. Transition, transmission. So I feel your pain because I've literally, this morning, marked £400 onto my savings because County paid me. It's the last payment County are going to pay me until near Christmas because of the summer holidays, so obviously the kids don't get funded during the summer holidays. And so my last payment from County came, and it wasn't as much as I thought it would be. And um, so I tried to save £400 of it, and I've got a horrible feeling it's going to have to come back to out. It. Yeah, it's... So is it broken, broken? Was it power steering, or was it... Some people gave you some ideas, didn't they, Brett, of what they thought it might be. Start with glue business for people who need to fix stuff with your leftovers. <laughs> That's a really good idea. <laughs> uh, who said, no, I'm sorry. I missed that. Uh, did send you mail, Bretty. Torch it on, kid. What does that mean? Put it in the oven and see what happens. <laughs> Broken things. Yeah, we could use it to fix things. I reckon the kids will enjoy playing with it when they get home, regardless of... It is the last thing we wanted. What is this? Slime. Last thing you wanted. Oh, what? No, the last thing I wanted. Yeah, I know, right? Desperately trying to save and I've spent so much money. My car's never cost me anything. And when I want to save for a van, now my car is starting to cost me money. Because I paid three hundred pounds out just before I came to camp, Kev. Camp, Kev. Kev, Kev. Camp, Kev. Although Camp Kev sounds fun, you should set up your own Camp Kev <laughs> and call it Camp Kev. <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy. And then I'm thinking, do I then just go and speak to my parents and see if they've got a few grand they could lend me and just get the van and chop the car in before I spend any more money on it? But I don't know if they've got any money to lend me. I've just had a new kitchen and everything fitted. I kind of, I don't want to go to them and ask them to, I don't want to borrow money for something that, like I borrowed money when my old car died and I didn't have enough money saved to get a new one. And my dad lent me the money and I paid him back each month, religiously, set the standing order. So they know, they know I'm good for it. But that was different. My car died. I kind of feel like the camper is something I want, and right, therefore, and that you need. yeah, that I shouldn't be just asking them for the money. I when we get it. our pocket money, my mum and dad say, "If you want it, then we will happily buy it. If you no, if you need yeah, it, yeah, if you need it, yeah. we will buy it. If you want it, it comes out of your pocket." Yeah, money. exactly. Exactly. This dries up fast when it's in there. Car's decided that you're trying to cheat on it, yeah, probably. 
You're not getting rid of me, Pip. You've got to keep me. Uh, when you get a van, Pip, I'll always offer to help out on that build if it is a build. There will be build elements, Kev. There absolutely will be build elements, and I have no idea where to start. And there are some vans I've seen that are literally, they just look like they've been insulated. Um, and I've thought about getting that because obviously it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. And then just do it yourself. And I've got, yeah, and I've got the caravan, which we can, you know, use donor parts from. It has to have a rock and roll bed in it because I need the seatbelts. And that's a hundred and, no, 1,800 roughly. Pip, I can have your van for 50p, not if it's not working. <laughs> you haven't got five seats either, Brett, but thank you for the offer. Does it come with an urban stealth camper van man already uh, installed in it as well? See, this one feels really nice. I like this one. It sounds nice too. It's kind of got a floomy feel to it. Flume. All well, the ones that have got shaving cream, they're all with shiny things, but like not any. They're the nicer ones. Shaving foam definitely makes a difference, I've yeah. decided. I thought I'd share this because it's perfect time. My dad's car that was ready to be sold got crashed into. Oh, that sucks, buddy. Yeah, you know what? That is the sort of thing. You just kind of get to a point where you're going to sell something and then... So we crashes sell into our it. old car. You not sold your old car yet? No, one of my dad's colleagues was going to see if he wanted it, but he hasn't got back to my dad yet. So. Yeah, I was thinking of talking to your dad about that, but it's, I can't convert it. Convert it into a camper. You could. It's not really long enough. Has, it, do, has anyone here turned a Land Rover? Range Rover. Land, Land Rover. Rover. So a Land Rover. Discovery. Discovery. We need to sell into a camper. Discovery. That'd be a good idea, actually. It would. Do the seats lie down flat? The front seats, I don't think, do. No, the, the back. back seats can lie flat. Hmm. But I don't know if it's a trustworthy vehicle. <laughs> okay. I had to get a new one because it kept on breaking down. Oh, well, I don't want that then. And it just... Brett's factory fitted into his van. You get a Brett for free. <laughs> get the van for 50p and Brett comes for free. That sounds good. Yep. Uh, for what? You missed that. Um, 1,800 for a rock and roll bed. Because my sister's father-in-law has just had one fitted to his van. That's without it being pool tested. That's just having it fitted. It was 2,000 something to have it pool tested. Hmm. This is very therapeutic though. If nothing else. Drovers. Don't buy Land Rover, they have given us nothing but grief. Same with the Range Rovers. Yeah, do you know what? I was actually told never to have one, but your dad always has them, doesn't he? Yeah, we have a um, Land Rover. Our old one we've had for 12, 12 years. Mm -hmm. um, I think wow. so. Twelve, about that. No, that can't be right. Really? 12? I remember you getting the one that you're selling. It might have been like eight or something. Well, then I don't know. What are you eleven now? Yeah. So it's it's younger than you. I thought because your mum moved here when she was pregnant with you. Yeah, no, I don't. So it's younger than that. Had well, it less uh, than your uh, your age. Well. New ish um, car, so the Discovery 4 that we've got now, the black one, yeah. that's six years old, right? Um, so yeah, that might be the one I'm thinking of then, six years old, yeah. But I'm pretty sure the grey one is older, than that. and our old car only um, went by Brett, Effie Fit. Oh, did it? Um, make you one as long as no one is travelling in it. Well, <laughs> yeah, it has to have people travelling in it. You see, otherwise I'd just have a bed. <laughs> but it has, I have to put car seats on it. So it needs so to be... So you're like replacing your car yeah. with a camper van? I can't afford to run two vehicles. And there's no parking out there, is there, for me to have another vehicle. 
She's my neighbour. She knows the situation. Hey. If I went and put a big van out there without getting rid of my car, World War Three would kick off, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would not be popular. Despite the fact some of our neighbours have four, five vehicles parked outside their house. Mm. In fairness, I do have the caravan on the drive, so I shouldn't really complain. I mean, Josh has his, his, like, his work van. His work van? His, his car, his, his dad's car. car, his dad's work's car. His girlfriend's car. Yeah, which is the purple one. And his mum's car. And yeah, that's six cars. Six cars and people are already complaining about and it. And then next door has a van, a car that doesn't work, a camper, and another little... Oh, and then his girlfriend's car. The uh, green one that his girlfriend... Oh, I haven't seen that for a while. Yeah, we won't be popular. And we have two big... Uh, Greg, hello! Sorry. How's things? Pleasant surprise to see you live this morning. <laughs> Thank you, my lovely. And to you. My little dad having to constantly have to repair the car. Oh, yeah, that's like my dad's old escort he used to have. When I was growing up, he was always under that car every night with a light over his head. What I used to see of my dad was his back end hanging out the back of the bonnet of the car. <laughs> And it was a Ford, which at the time we used to call Fix or Repair Daily. That's what Ford stood for. Look at that. What? <laughs> so, Greg, we were making slime, but it didn't go well. It didn't work. So we have six bowls of various stages of slop. Three of them look like meringue. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Gonna go. Mary Berry would be very pleased with that peakiness, wouldn't she? Of the <laughs> to a peaky. See, that's proper meringue thingy, that is. Thought Ford was found on road dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it depends if you're just wanting to dump it, in which case it's found on road dead. Or in my dad's case, it was fix or repair daily because that's what he was doing. Every night he was back under that car. We were going to stop, weren't we, at the garage on the way home, but we'd got sleepy kids and we were playing a, a game in the car all the way home going, oh, who can see a red car? Trying to keep them awake. And in the end, Aurora said, I've got a really good game. Let's see who can work, stay awake the longest. I was like, Aurora, you genius. Why didn't I think of that? Yes, let's play that game. <laughs> Which kept them awake. Bit of competition. Yeah, that kept them awake. So I was like, I'm not stopping at the garage, otherwise I'll have all three kids asleep in the car and they won't have eaten their lunch. This is actually quite thick. It's meringue consistency. I think this wasn't far off turning into slime. But it's... I think if you add any more liquid it would substance, go. it's going to go... Yeah, I don't want to ruin this. This is good to play with. Remember there was an emergency, I was screaming in the back of the car because God knows how long I was in the car with a seatbelt digging into my flesh. Oh dear, that's not good. Ouchie. Yes, not worth having the car if it was constantly causing issues. Andrew, hello, hello. Yeah, it's wet here too. Wet here. For those of you just entering, we are trying to make slime. Well, we've given up now. We're just playing with glue. Glue. Or meringue. You decide which. Little ones are sleeping. Chloe and I are hanging out. Hi. Bye, George. Little ones to test it out. No, little ones have dictated my cars for long enough, literally, because I was a nanny for years. I was. I was a nanny before I was a childminder, before I had my kids. And yeah, they dictated my cars because obviously, well, my job's dictated my car all these years. So it's about time I had what I want, and I want a van. So I can go camping in it and hang out with the lads. 
in fields somewhere, having fun, like we did when we went to camp off grid. And there's one in October to go to up on Tan Hill, but it's going to be too cold for me to camp. I oh could dear. stay, well, yeah, exactly, and I could stay overnight in, because they've got a B&B, &B, but then that's taking money out of my camper fund. If I, you know, spend it on <laughs> hotels and travelling and stuff. Just want my van. What's this one like? Bloopy. That one's thickened up quite a bit with me playing with it. I want to play with it now. And then you play with that one. I'll see if I can this one with playing with it. Playtime. Uh, We've been camping, but we got so we were saying ten. Ooh, like it, girl. I'm taking you on the on camping with my school. I didn't enjoy it very much. We don't like outside. <laughs> oh, I love outside. I like outside. I just don't like school. Well, you don't go to school, so well, no. <laughs> I was too clever. I did not do school. Nope. Right. This is your school, right? Yes. <laughs> school of how not to make slime. True. This is your science experiment. <laughs> My science experiment for the day. How not to make slime. Yes. And just play with it. Look, it's dead. Look, it literally... Yeah. That's good. Okay, so I'm definitely going to keep these thick things so the kids can play with that when they get in. I do like camping, but I don't like getting cold. Bunny's very lucky she doesn't have to go to school. Sounds good, doesn't it? I like it. Bunny says you're very lucky not having to go to school, Chloe. I am. She is. My nephew's not starting school either. He's being homeschooled. It My boys would have been fun. homeschooled. But they lived in a tiny village. And so mm. they kind of went... I prefer not going to school because you can't go to a farm if you go to no, school. No, you can't go and do farm stuff, can you, if you go to school? And you couldn't go... Well, you could go swimming, but... <laughs> I hate Night Elizabeth, thank you very much for popping in and giving us your slime expertise. I will get borax. <laughs> I will buy borax. That's a <laughs> um, it does like mama. Hello, hello. It does look like marshmallow fluff, doesn't it? It doesn't taste like it. I haven't really tried it. I haven't really tried it. Don't try it. I think it would be dangerous. I think I'd poison myself. Could be Chloe, I would accept going to school is kind of fun. If I could be Chloe, I would accept going to school is kind of fun. Look up polymer cross-linking, radio. I'm sure Brent will explain that to me when it gets home and I explain that I did the whole thing wrong. Oh yeah, someone explain it to me, please. <laughs> they are your homework for today. <laughs> what went wrong with it? And yes. try and figure it out. Find out about fix polymer it. cross, what was that? Polymer cross something or other? Log. Polymer cross-linking, that's, and I, when you come back next week, I want you to tell me all about polymer cross-linking and what went wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Explain it to me in simple terms so I understand it and I don't have to go and look up. I don't think I would understand it even if I looked it up. You never know. Mm. You enjoy the car ride, it's kind of fun being in the car looking at signs. Yeah, we enjoy. I, I don't mind being in the car. I used to hate it because I used to get really travel sick. Um, which is why I prefer to drive and be a passenger. And I used to hate travelling, but most of the time I think that was because I had the boys in the car and they used to scream every time we went anywhere. This um, is good ASMR. It is. But, now they're older, they, they don't scream. And, shout. and Brendan's decided he doesn't want to go on holiday with us next time we go. How? Oh. I don't know. Do you know I like it? No, he does, but I think, you know, I mean, he's... He's going to be 18 in six months. Yeah. So he's a little man. Do his own thing. Tushu Rizu. Hello, hello. Our girls are both homeschooled. They enjoy it. Well, at least I think they do. <laughs> Homeschool's cool. Yeah. Thing to do, isn't it, Chloe? It's very popular, actually, in this village, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few home ed families around here. Mint. Yeah, peppermint's good at helping with travel sickness. You know when you cook spaghetti and drain it and forget about it and it goes hard? Yes. Yes. Is it, you're going you're gonna to explain polymer thingy thingying to us now, aren't you? 
That's what borax does to the PVA. Oh, on its own, it's like dry spaghetti that slides over each other. Wow, that's cool. I know my daughter's made this before. You must be doing something wrong. <laughs> Kev? I am doing something wrong. <laughs> we so are. Definitely. Well, maybe the instructions we followed were wrong. Yes. And we're just right. The book's wrong. We are not. The book is. But this is definitely... I'm keeping this for the kids when they come home from school, though. This definitely going to keep this, because this actually feels nice on its own as a thing. So I was going to put it in a big bowl, but actually it's probably best leaving it in three little bowls, isn't it? So there's no arguments. I'll yes. just leave this out. They're having... What are we going to have for dinner tonight? No idea. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. Oh, burgers. We're having burgers. Ooh, nice. Do you know what? I think they're just going to have beans on toast tonight. Oh, I better get friends and chickpea. What day is it? Thursday. No, it's yeah. a late, late finish. I don't need to cook his chickpea thing. I'll cook it later. Chickpea. Chicken and chickpea. That's why we bought the chickpeas. Chicken and chickpea. Chicken and chickpea. Say that five times fast. Chicken and chickpea. 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 <laughs> homeschool my children when I'm big <laughs> when I'm big how old are you bunny Borg tangles the PVA molecules to tangle them together so it's like the dried curly spaghetti still moves a little bit but not as much as the glue oh there I you go I do my homework now you do not I've just done her homework for her thank you so whatever we did didn't tangle the polymers at all no no, it did not. Not at all. Is that Mr. Tumble I can hear in that room? Oh, I can't stand Mr. Tumble. I hate Mr. Tumble. It's so annoying. I've got to tell you. Right. Well, I think. What's the time? Might be time for me to insist on. Right. Oh, it's nearly. No, it's no, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Do I kick, kick Chloe out oh. and go and have half an hour's peace and quiet? Oh well, draw some diagrams. <laughs> <laughs> or does Chloe stay till I do the school run? When do you do the school run? Three o'clock. Oh. I've normally kicked her out by now, haven't I? Yeah. Normally kicked her out. Pip says she was doing her last job. Yes, and she wanted to be part of it. Hi. Would you mind letting my lizard out, please? My lizard. I've got mucky fingers. <laughs> He's scratching to come out. The lizard's scratching to come out. It's like a dog. Or a cat, I know, at the door. 19 years of age. He stared at me. Not that much older than my boy. No, he's not. You're not much older than my boy. Draw some diagrams. I like that. Right. Good night, Elizabeth. Thank you. It's 2 p.m. It's time for me to get sorted for college. Radio, you lovely thing. Go and enjoy college. I hope no one's come here actually looking how to make. <laughs> What's call it? Is that thick and gentle? Oh. I don't like that. That one's still quite fluffy. I like this one. This one's my favourite. Yeah, that one's my favourite. Just because of the noise it makes. It's, it's kind of foamy. Yeah. It's like when you have really thick soap or something. Yeah. It kind of is really thick soap. Well, yeah. Yeah. Must be lunchtime for who? I don't know. Oh, toothless. Yeah, it probably is lunchtime for him. I'll have to wash my hands and get him some greens. I'll come in that. in a minute. When he comes in, okay. he'll ask for some. Yeah. I can hear him running, but I can't see him. He's not there in the hall. I think he ran it out into the where the sofa is. Mm. Hmm. Bye, Bunny. Have a good day at college. Hi. Discovery World. Hello, hello. How are you? We are not making slime it went wrong but we have lots of pots of goo here he comes he wants his food <laughs> the lizard's just coming and asking for some food he'll be here in a minute just hear his little feet 
pitter pattering. Imagine hearing that on Halloween or something. Has he gone back again the other way? Cheeseless! He's there. Okay. Coming in for food. You want food, Cheeseless? Well, lizard that thinks he's a dog. I'm good, thank you. How are you? It's been a long time since we've chatted. How are things? Oh, he's all black. Why has he gone all black? Does that upset mean him? Something? Means he's in defence mode. Yeah. I did not know that. I'm cross about something. This is still very therapeutic. Even though it went wrong, it's still fun to play with. So we'll keep it to play with, I think. For a bit. It stands on the spoon. Yeah. How long do you think this will last? What, in this consistency? Yeah. I have no idea. Do you think it's like Play-Doh? If you don't put the prima tartar in it, it loses its integrity and goes... <laughs> Maybe. Well, at least you tried. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to kick Chloe out now. She's not very angry. And we've been on for nearly an hour. And then I'm going to go and sit and have some peace and quiet a bit I think. Thanks for joining us. You should go home and have some lunch. That is You've got it all in your hair. Oh no. <laughs> I washed my hair this morning as well. Well now you've put it through. She's got non-slime right. in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh right yes. Okay does he want food? Do you want food too first? I'm going to leave all this on the table and the kids can play with it when they come home. Is it that bag of lettuce? Uh, yes, if you give them a few pieces, please, that would be great. So, thanks for watching, you lovely lot. I'll see you all on the next live stream. Vlog will be going up as normal tonight. Probably not a very long one. It wasn't a very long one yesterday. But that's fine. They don't always have to be long. Probably better to have some short ones. Thanks for watching. Wave goodbye. Bye. I can't see you. Bye.